such as the person who fulfills the moral laws and completes those practices. Who are the three teachers? Here a certain teacher sets out an understanding of sense desires, but neither of the objects of sense nor of feelings. Again, another teacher sets out the first two but not the last, and lastly there is a teacher who sets out an understanding of all the three. Now, here a teacher of the first order is to be understood as a teacher who has attained the ecstatic state belonging to the world of form. Again, the teacher of the second order is to be understood as a teacher who has attained ecstatic meditation belonging to the world of the formless. Lastly, the teacher of the third order is to be understood as a teacher who is perfectly enlightened. These are the three. Who are other three teachers? Here a certain teacher sets out soul as something real and permanent in the present life as well as in the future life. Again, another teacher sets out soul as something real and permanent as far as this world is concerned but does not say so with regard to any future existence. Lastly, a certain teacher does not set it out as a real and permanent entity either in regard to the present or to the future life. Here the teacher of the first order is to be understood as a teacher who upholds the doctrine of eternalism. Again, the teacher of the second order is to be understood as a teacher who upholds the doctrine of annihilationism. Lastly, the teacher of the third order is to be understood as the teacher who is perfectly enlightened. These are the other three teachers. Here ends the specification of grouping by three. Originally spoken by Gautam Buddha in Pali language around BC Pali versions. Pali English version and Pali Devanagari version adapted from translation into English by Bhimalacharan Law, Chapter 4. Division of Human Types by 4. What sort of person is not a good man? Here a certain person is a destroyer of life, taker of things not given, misbehaving in sensual desires, liar, one indulging in the enjoyment of spirit use, fermented liquors and intoxicants. Such is the person who is called not a good man. What sort of person is more not a good man, than the not good man? Here a certain person is himself a destroyer of life and urges others to do the same. Himself takes things not given and urges others to do likewise. Himself misbehaves in the matter of sensual desires and instigates others in the same way. Himself tells a lie and instigates others to do the same, himself indulges in the enjoyment of spirit use, fermented liquors and intoxicants and instigates others to do the same. Such is the person who is said to be more not a good man than the not good man. What sort of person is a good man? Here a certain person refrains from destruction of life. Refrains from taking anything not given. Refrains from misbehaving hour in the matter of sensual pleasures. And lastly, refrains from indulging in the enjoyment of spirit use, fermented liquors and intoxicants such as the person who is said to be a good man. What sort of person is a better man than the good man? Here a certain person. While he himself refrains from the destruction of life. Incites others to refrain. Himself refrains from taking things not given. Incites others to refrain. Himself refrains from misbehaving hour in sensual pleasures. Incites others to refrain. Himself refrains from speaking falsehood, incites others to refrain, himself refrains from indulging in the enjoyment of spirit use, fermented liquors and intoxicants, incites others to refrain. Such is the person who is said to be a better man than the good man. What sort of person is wicked? Here a certain person is a destroyer of life. Taker of things not given, misbehaves in sensual pleasures, is a liar, a slanderer, speaks harsh words, is a gossip, covetous, of malevolent thoughts, an upholder of false doctrines. Such a person is said to be wicked. What sort of person is more wicked than the wicked? Here a certain person. While he himself destroys life. Instigates others to do the same while himself takes things not given instigates others to do likewise. While himself misbehaves in sensual pleasures instigates others to do the same. While himself is a liar instigates others to be so. While himself is a slanderer instigates others to slander. Himself a harsh speaker instigates others to use harsh language. 
Himself a gossip instigates others to gossip. Himself covetous instigates others towards covetousness, himself of malevolent nature instigates others to be malevolent, himself an upholder of wrong views instigates others to entertain such views. Such a person is said to be more wicked than the wicked. What sort of person is of lovely disposition? Here a certain person refrains from killing life. Refrains from taking what is not given. Refrains from misbehaving in sensual pleasures. Refrains from speaking falsehood, refrains from slanderous speech, refrains from using harsh language, refrains from gossip, is not covetous or malevolent, is an upholder of right views. Such a person is said to be of lovely disposition. What sort of person is more lovely than one of lovely disposition? Here a certain person himself refrains from destruction of life, and incites others as well to cease to kill. Himself a refrainer from taking things not given. Incites others to abstain from taking what is not given, himself refrains from misbehaving in sensual pleasures and incites others to refrain from misbehaving in sensual pleasures. Incites others to right views. Such is the person who is more lovely than one of lovely disposition. What sort of person is of a wicked nature? What sort of person is of a more wicked nature than he who is wicked? What sort of person is of a lovely nature? What sort of person is of a more lovely nature than he who is of a lovely nature? Answers as in. What sort of person is blameworthy? What sort of person is blameworthy here a certain person has come to have blameworthy action, speech, and thought. Such is the person who is said to be blameworthy. What sort of person is exceedingly blameworthy? Here a certain person has come to have more of blameworthy action, speech, and thought and less of unblameworthy action, speech, and thought. Such is the person who is said to be exceedingly blameworthy.